I can brew like a Bruce. This fight came about, uh, should have been myself and uh, fighting for the title, defending my title, but instead uh, I was injured. It's about consistency. My confidence has skyrocketed. Trust me, we'll be ready. Yeah, man, next week I'm fighting Tony Ferguson. Um, huge opportunity for me. And work on, they hit at you, you hit back. Argue, they say in Thailand. They hit at you, hit back. Did you see how many times he got hit in the two videos I sent you? Or, yeah, every, yeah. And he just walks at you. I mean, look, the one time you landed a clean punch on, on Kiesa, boom, down. You at McNuggets, Tiramisu, Pettis? Let's go, three on three. Yeah, see what I mean? If I move him, guess what? Boom, 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 boom. I get whatever I want because I took him out of position. My head's not wrapped around a win or a loss. It's a run of performance. If I go out there and perform, the rest is in the bag. Time! Fighting any sports, a lot of it's mostly mental. And uh, I was on top of the world, man, and then I got humbled. So I'm gonna use the smaller gloves out there. Wraps and uh, that's it, man. I'm ready, I'm ready to go to Vegas. It's not about the belt right now, it's about me getting this momentum back, getting this confidence back, and when I'm ready for that belt, that belt's coming. Tony El Kukui Hey everyone, I'm Megan Olivi in Las Vegas and I am joined by Tony Ferguson, one of the stars of UFC 229's co-main event. I feel like, you know, we have been waiting so long to see you back in that octagon. What was the hardest part about being sidelined? There's a difference between being hurt and being injured. If you're hurt, you gotta dust yourself off and you can get back in the game. But if you're injured, you gotta kind of take a kick it and you gotta like go back, fix everything, and get back to the drawing board. What are you seeing in terms of the stylistic matchup? You're known to be unorthodox. He's also known to be unorthodox, but a technical strike. He's a quitter. He's like a deer in headlights when he gets hit. He's not an alpha. I'm the alpha. I'm gonna finish this dude. Doing the light therapy, we're gonna really move all that lymph around increase your circulation, move all those toxins around. So I like going light therapy, using the Novathor. We got the stresses of uh, fight week that are coming up. So no better than to just get really mentally prepared. Cool, calm, and collected is from the preparation. And uh, I belong here, I'm the champ. Uh, I believe I'm the champ. And we're ready now. Off to Vegas, UFC 229, leaving Milwaukee. I'm kind of glad this weather's kind of whack out here, so uh, ready to see some sun. Um, so we're ready to get out there and, and handle business, man. We got four days away. I'm excited. Everything feels right on point, ready to shock the world. Showtime is back! This is a great fight for me. I mean, I'm in a, I'm in a great spot. You know, I have no pressure on me at all. I mean, everybody's picking him to win. Everybody's thinking I'm, I need to retire. I'm, I'm too old. All this, all this talk that whatever, whatever, all these opinions about my career. But uh, I'm ready, man. I'm ready to shock the world. Tony Ferguson is just a problem. He's so effective in so many different places. I think Tony's is an amazing fighter. I think he has a great, fun style to watch, and uh, he always comes to bring it. So I'm, I'm excited to go out there and, and get tested against a guy like that. There's that left leg. I don't care how ready you are for that thing. When it lands, it does damage. Ah! Boom! Good. Ah! Good day one for us. Team Pettis feeling good. About to close it out. Get some rest and see you tomorrow. Tony's 
stronger will, better striker, better jujitsu, mentally tougher, and he doesn't know how to lose. He's not losing, you know what I mean? You're going to see. I'm really looking forward to seeing how my knee holds up. I think that's how everybody's looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to getting kicked. I'm looking forward to checking some kicks. It's been a while since I got to be part of this, and uh, that's where I'm supposed to be at, man. The fans know what's up, so I feel like uh, I forgot to live in the moment before. You know, I was trying to get to that belt so much, I forgot to live in these moments right here, and I'm, I'm back in it. Woo! Man, that shit just asked me to fuck up. Kill me. I collect scars, man. It's cool as fuck. Chicks dig scars. My wife loves it. I've had staples. I've got some anchors in there. I've, I've, I've been kicked, I don't know how many times I said for this camp. One of the main storylines, I guess, of this fight is Tony coming back from his injury so quickly. Do you think it's possible for him to actually have fully recovered from that knee surgery? Not mentally. I had a knee surgery right after I fought Ben Henderson. Mentally, he's not 100%, but uh, I mean, Tony's a tough dude. He creates the chaos with his jab. He's long. He's durable. He can take punches. What are you doing, big guy? Yeah. Chilling. Just watching your videos, you can make me tired, man. All that shit. Uh, you gotta keep it interesting for everybody, yeah. It's entertainment. From across the globe, El Kukui Tony Ferguson. He'll put his 10 fight winning streak on the line against the ubiquitous former UFC champion, Anthony Showtime Pettis. Here is Joe Rogan. What's happening, my friends? Welcome to the way ins. Two former champions, Tony Ferguson. Overshadowed tonight as he makes his much anticipated return he is the former UFC interim lightweight champion Tony Ferguson, a man who has been at the top of the pack before. Enter Milwaukee's best, Anthony Showtime Pettis. While the A-listers are out here tonight, one of Boston's finest, Matt Damon, is in the building for UFC 229. As is Aaron Paul, he of Breaking Bad fame. Taking this fight does show my championship mentality. I call it mental toughness. Midwest tough, West Coast savvy. Got the best of both worlds. Anthony Pettis versus Tony Ferguson is a very intriguing fight. Both men are at the top of the heat in the lightweight division. Tony Ferguson is one of the most unique fighters and most difficult fighters to prepare for. Oh! Anthony Pettis never fought a dude like me. And Anthony Pettis is no different than any opponent I've ever seen. You got your hands full, kid. Once I get a hold of you, you're not leaving. And I want you to beg somebody to take you out of that octagon.
Well, his future is in the UFC Hall of Fame, his present. This massive co-main event tonight, um, he feels like his instincts and his reactions are as good as anyone's in the game, and why not lean on it, says Ben. And time now to welcome back a man with one of the best lightweight resumes in UFC history. The first and as yet only man to put together a 10-fight winning streak. Creative on the ground, brilliantly creative standing up. He's a very, very interesting guy. Ferguson, 34 years old. Incredibly, Anthony Showtime Pet is still just 31. Ferguson, the slightly taller man. He will have a four-inch edge in reach. Anthony Showtime Pettis. See Pettis going right after the knees, right away at Ferguson. Right away. Right, right after away. the leg. You gotta wonder if it's 100%. It's only been six months? Yeah, April. It's Injury was April 1st. The question is, did he give himself enough time to recover from the surgery? And he did no physical therapy. He took his recovery into his own hands, none. I don't know what to say about any of that. I honestly have no I'm not words shocked. for that. So we have hit the midpoint of round one. Locked it all, though. And nothing landed. Whatever we thought was going on with his leg earlier might have just been, ooh, and there's another hard leg kick to that leg. And he's got to clinch him or do something to deal with the pressure. Go to the body of Ferguson, fake a shot, throw up a cut, throw knees, something. Because right now, Pettis, or Ferguson is just on it. All over him. Blocked. Nice left hand there, stuck by Ferguson. Beautiful uppercut. Beautiful jab there by Ferguson, former two-time All-American wrestler at Grand Valley State University as a wrestler. Again, inside leg kick twice. Just as mentally tough as it comes, and he draws such strength from that. Couple oh. big right hands from Ferguson. Keep hitting over his kicks, okay? Every time he kicks, he's wide open. Quick punch combo, kick at the end of it. You're doing great. Keep your hands high, though, Perry. And then he's kicking your legs when he switches stance. Yeah, he's chewing. Oh, he got him. Oh. He's hurt. And that's one thing about Pettis, he can pick a shot in Pettis. He's on him, he's on him. There's a lot of blood coming from somewhere. Might be his jaw. Yeah, it looks like the mouth of Tony Ferguson. Ferguson right after it, immediately staying offensive. Well, there's a tremendous amount of blood coming out of Tony Ferguson's mouth. Oh, yeah. Pettis is yeah, Pettis losing is a ton of blood here. Elbow from Ferguson. This fight as advertised so far. It's in the oh, hairline. It's a cut. giant cut yeah. One moment. on the right side rag. of his head. I need another rag for his eyes. Please, a rag. How are we doing? He's good. He's fine. Good. This is a fight. We are the only three gentlemen sitting in the T-Mobile Arena right now. Woo! Oh, my goodness. It's getting wild. Ferguson ripping the body there. Watch Pettis look for an overhand right. It's there all night. Pettis flat against the cage here. Oh, left hook. Pettis has taken a lot of big shots here, Joe. Oh, big elbow. Oh, oh, is... oh, there's an elbow. Beautiful. Man. Grab beautiful. a hand, slip over the top with an elbow. Oh, oh my goodness. Another elbow from Tony Ferguson under a minute to go in the round. Ferguson's hitting him very hard. Pettis needs to get on his bike and start moving. He can't sit here like this. Final seconds of the round. Pettis covers it. What do you want to do? If you can't go, we got to stop it. What do you want to do? You tell me. I, I can't have you fighting him if you didn't got that hand. All right? All right. Hands broken. Yeah, that's he it. broke his hand. So that's wow. the fight. You know, we yeah. sometimes sit here and bemoan the fact that corners don't save their fighters often enough. I know people are going to take issue with this. He knows what should be done, what shouldn't be done. It's one of his big, biggest weapons. If he broke his hand, and it seemed like he didn't want to continue either. Yeah. He didn't want to fight this monster with one hand. What the last six months have held for this absolute warrior of a human being to come back and produce the way he did tonight is truly the stuff of legends. Incredible. And here we go, insane, the big right hand lands, he throws an inside kick and Pettis just hits him with a huge right hand and just puts him down. Ferguson cuts him over his left eye, 
elbows, grabbing the hands the whole time, non-stop punches trading. These guys are fighting in a phone booth, bleeding all over each other, bleeding all over us. Declaring the winner by TKO, Tony El Kukui Ferguson. Where you at, McNuggets, you fucking piece of shit? I'm gonna kick your ass! If fucking Khabib don't do it, I will! Son of a bitch, I'll give you a proper ass whooping any day. I'm not gonna talk no more. I'm done. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, UFC. I'm fucking back. Thank you, Tony. Tony Ferguson, ladies and gentlemen. Tony Ferguson, almost one year out of the Octagon, 364 days, you came out, and what a fight that was with Anthony Pettis. Obviously, you're emotional in there. How are you feeling right now? Put so much work, and I want to say thank you to my wife, my family, my coaches, and everybody that had my back. I'm going to be watching the next fight, man. Khabib and uh, Tiramisu. Well, Tiramisu and McNuggets. They lost their sauce. I got all the sauce now. Tony, congratulations on uh, your victory this evening. We saw the emotion that you had after the fight. Can you just talk about what this victory, what this moment means to you after all that you went through? Um, it's been a long, long year for me. You guys have no idea the stuff that I went through. I think you guys have seen a little bit, but tonight I went in there and I did it, I did it lyrically. So you guys saw me in there fighting my heart out. You definitely got hurt for a second. Can you tell us kind of what you remember about that and, and what was going through your mind as you battled back? I've been training like an Olympian. I've talked so many different things out of my life that I didn't need anymore and I just felt lifted. So awesome. Such a great feeling. There's nobody in this division that's ready for me. You guys want to talk about money fights, you want to talk about this and that. I have the belt inside my room. I'll match my belt up with Connors or with Khabib's any day. I'm all in. I'll bump up to 170 when I'm done here and I'll clean up that division too. You earlier in the week said that you don't actually enjoy fighting and your victory dance is a bag of M&Ms and a can of Coke. After an epic war, yes mate, <laughs> yeah. You guys have no idea, me and my sharks, we're going big with this stuff. Health and wellness, man, it's awesome. I did my thing in four months. A lot of these PT guys, I'm going back from my PT, you guys. You guys know what that is, right? It's a doctorate. That way you motherfuckers have to listen to me now. Get it? It was funny, I actually saw Connor in the back at the weigh-ins. And he was strutting up, doing his thing. I can't, I can't even do that shit. It's kind of cool. I throw elbows like a Mexican here. The same way I saw him over at Mayweather when he was over at the presser. When I saw that, he doesn't want a piece of me. Management will make sure that I don't ever touch that guy because they know exactly I'll make that dude mincemeat. I'll chop that dude up, boom, and feed him to the dogs. Because if I don't allow myself room for growth, I'm gonna start floating up there like everybody else. I'm gonna start getting a big head. Like I said, you guys don't want me to get a big head. It's easy. I got ears to match them. And trust me, I'm, I learned to laugh at myself a little bit. Maybe I'll go into comedy, maybe I'll go into entertainment, but I am an entertainer. This is entertainment, right? Sleep less, run more, work out more, feel better, eat good, rest more. Repeat the process over and over and it showed inside that octagon tonight. Anthony Pettis, a very game opponent. We did our homework and we saw him quit. We made him quit. I have to tell you, I have to give these guys respect. I, got, I don't want to call him McNuggets anymore. I don't want to call him Tiramisu because that shit got old. I did that shit on purpose to troll all y'all. And it's been funny, man, because everybody, it, it clicked now. Now I have Tiramisu Tuesdays. Now I got McNugget Mondays. You know what I mean? It, it works. These guys follow my trends, and they don't want to quote me with it, but it's cool. I take notes on them, and I'm just like, I love it. Because what I'm doing in this game is amazing and it's, it's just sad that y'all can't see that shit what do you make of tony ferguson because obviously he was the interim champion before is there a chance that he could become interim champion again while this whole thing's being figured out so happy that he actually stepped up and fought on this card too you know that's how you that's how you, you stay active you stay in front of the fans especially as many people as that were watching tonight and everybody loved that fight it was a really good night for tony